वेलकम बैक टू दी फार्मेक विजिलेंस सीरीज दिस इज द सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ इंडिविजुअल केस सेफ्टी रिपोर्ट इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव सीन वॉट आर द डिफरेंट सोर्सेज ऑफ रिपोर्ट हाउ सर्विलेंस टेक्स प्लेस इन पोस्ट मार्केटिंग फेज एंड मेनी अदर थिंग्स नाउ इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी वॉट इज वैलिडिटी क्राइटेरिया वॉट इज मीन बाय द इनिशियल एंड फॉलो अप केसेस एंड वॉट आर द डिफरेंट सेफ्टी रिपोर्ट फॉर्म्स सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड द कलेक्शन एंड प्रोसेसिंग ऑफ आई सी एस सर्व एक्यूरेटली is vital step in determining the fate of medicinal product that's why the data provided in icsr should be complete and valid so that before accepting any report it should it should fulfill some basic criteria according to the icsr guideline it to be it is recommended that as much information as possible be collected at the time of initial report however for the purpose of regulated reporting the minimum data elements required are First one is identifiable patient which include age gender date of birth of patient and etc second one is identifiable reporter reporter is a person who reports adverse reaction and facts third one is suspect product only the products specified as suspect by the reporter are entered as a suspect product next is adverse reaction adverse reaction should consist of sign or symptoms or it represent a codable medicinal concept once we confirm case as a valid case then we have to check it as initial or follow up so what is meant by the initial and follow up cases for the submission of initial case minimum information required is pred that is patient reporter event and drug while the report recipient is encouraged to actively query the reporter to elicit the most possible complete information second is a follow up cases the relevant information which was not available in the initial case should be asked specifically for documentation in the follow up cases now to identify whether the adverse event report is initial or follow up a duplicate search is performed in the safety database it helps in avoiding a duplicate entries of safety report If a report is identified as an initial report then new case will be created in safety database if a report is identified as a follow up and new information has been provided for the case then new version will be created now question comes in mind who is a reporter a reporter is any person who reports an adverse event it can be a healthcare professional who is a medically qualified person such as physician dentist pharmacist nurse coroner or as it specified by local regulations or it may be the patient or consumer who consumes or uses the medicinal product or a reporter may be the customer who is a person or organization which purchases the medicinal product or reporter may be the any person like lawyer friend or caretaker of that person this report are further categories as medically confirmed or medically not confirmed so when we consider the case as a medically confirmed when one or more suspected adverse reactions initially reported by consumer and subsequently confirmed by healthcare professional then the case or report is considered as a medically confirmed now we will discuss the different safety report forms These reports are submitted in both paper mode and electronic mode. Paper mode like snail mail, post, personal contact and electronic mode like internet, telephone, fax. So there are two types of forms. One is voluntary form and second one is mandatory form. The voluntary forms are available for general population. Regulatory authority provides voluntary forms to healthcare professional and non-healthcare professional. so that they can directly report adverse event to regulatory authority for example medwatch 3500 medwatch 3500b elo forms second one is mandatory forms mandatory forms are used by the marketing authorization holder it is a compulsory for the marketing authorization holder to submit the reports related to their marketed products to regulatory authority mandatory forms are cms form medwatch 3500a 